I may or may not have spent three hours, three hours finding the cringiest videos on TikTok. And so today, I will be taking a look at those with you guys. Let's get to it. All right. Konnichiwa. Here are three reasons why I would be a good husbando. Number one. He's got the Attack on Titan hoodie. I like anime. It kind of makes me different. <laughs> Number two. I study the blade, but I'll only use my blades to protect my kitten. And Is this how people view me? I've had comments saying I'm an anime loser, so do they put me in the same category as this guy? I want it to be known that me and this guy are very different, okay? I watch JoJo's. And number three, <laughs> I just like to cuddle a little bit. <laughs> Dude, these people are out of control. There will be times I watch my reaction to these cringe videos and I cringe at myself. Goodbye, Eli. If you ever watch this video, I want to know your thought process when you make a video like this. Is this actually you or are you just putting on some sort of act? I can't tell. Genuinely, I have no idea because people like you exist. I don't know if this is actually you. The thumbnail alone makes this the worst video I ever watched. He has literal udders on his pajamas. Is that lactose-free milk? If you're gonna do a cow cosplay, at least drink whole milk. I've seen enough of that. This guy used to be everywhere on TikTok. I wonder what he's up to now. My heart! I loved her! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because I make videos now, so I get it. But I wouldn't consider this cringe because he's trying to play a character. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy has made normal videos in the past and he's just playing a character. It's like once you find out that Santa Claus is Still pretty funny, though. All right, let's see this one. The story with this video, because I've seen him before on TikTok, is that this guy's account, I think, was taken down because of this video. There's obviously a lot of things wrong with this. The weirdest thing to me is that the girl chose to participate in this. Your social IQ needs to be so low for you to make a video like this. This is like the suicide forest of TikTok. Making a low-hanging fruit rape joke is probably as cringe as it gets. I remember this video. So the girl on the right was faking her autism. And so this guy duetted it who actually has autism and reacted the way that he thinks an autistic person should react. This is so cringe. Knowing she doesn't have autism, think about this. Watch the video, think about this. No. How do you fake autism and just act like that on camera? That is so cringe. Not only are you mocking somebody who has autism by doing that, but trying to get pity views by faking autism is so cringe. I would even say that's beyond cringe, and that's almost as egregious as that previous video we watched. That girl has some problems. You have to be a true sociopath to want to get views that badly that you fake autism. Did I, don't understand. I have a theory already. Okay, he had a TikTok shirt on, he's an industry plant by TikTok, and they use this as a cringe video to garner attention and to get reposts on other websites to drive traffic to TikTok. Think about it, why would he have a TikTok shirt on? This guy is working in cahoots with the Chinese government in order to bring more traffic to TikTok. And honestly, I respect it. This guy looks pretty chill, he can't be that cringe. A lot of Barbasol. What's he gonna do with it? <laughs> Getting views is a mental illness. Seeking clout should honestly be classified by the CDC as a mental illness because you get taken away from your original normal thought process and you do stuff that is so unbelievably wicked in order to get views. This guy Ben, man. The worst part about that is he wasted some good Barbasol. Gilmer Crows, he's one of the biggest TikTokers. People hate him with a passion, but let's see what this video is. <laughs> I 
I have no comment on that. <laughs> this is so bad. I, I'm done. I'm done with this. No way he actually does this. <laughs> that is so messed up. Bro, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. I just shaved your head in the middle of it and you're gonna get laughed at and bullied at school. I love how that's a valid excuse for anything you do nowadays. You could stab somebody in the throat and just call it a prank and get away with it. Just because you say it's a prank, it doesn't mean it's a good prank. You still made a shitty prank. Like, that's just a bad prank. It's not even a prank. What's the joke? You shaved his head. Why is it that everybody wears beanies now? I thought I was fairly niche wearing beanies. I thought it was me and Joe Bartolozzi for the most part on TikTok. And now I'm seeing all these people wear beanies. Am I missing a trend that's coming? Let's peek it. Hey, taco. Oh, waffle taco. Now I don't know if I'm hungry or horny. End the video. Too long. You said your statement. How are these people real? How is that a real person? Let's see what law enforcement has on TikTok. <laughs> Imagine getting tased by this guy. Like, this is the guy that swats you. He's just flexing his weapons. That's cringe. I will say that's cringe. <laughs> yeah, that's cringe. That might be the cringiest one yet, given who he is, a police officer, and what he's doing, and the audio he's using. I'm gonna give that a 9 out of cringe. Okay, looks like we're on <laughs> boy TikTok. Why are they scrunching their shorts up? You see this guy in the camouflage? Honestly though, these guys are the backbone of the app, so you can't hate on them too much. It's just classic 15 year old stuff, man. I wonder what it's like in high school during the TikTok era. Are they like revered by people or do people dislike them? Because these videos get likes, so I don't know if the people liking them are their peers or just like random 12 year old girls. All right, last one, let's see what we have. Step right up, let's get your weight. Thank you, I'll pass. Uh, go ahead and stand on the scale. No, really. You can put refused on the charts. I have to write this arbitrary number down. Stand on the scale. So here's the deal. You can have my weight if and only if the doctor needs it to prescribe me a new med or if I'm going under general anesthesia. Otherwise, you can put refused. Now I'm no doctor, but I think this lady would do herself a favor by stepping on that scale. I also notice it says anti-diet. I don't remember when exactly this whole movement against being fit happened, but I think it's one of the dumbest things that's happened to this earth. It's one thing to preach body positivity if you're slightly overweight, but if you're teetering on the side of being so unhealthy that you refuse to step on the scale and look at the number that you are, that's an issue. It's not like you're gonna get socially ostracized, you're at the doctor's. The doctor's goal is literally to prolong your life, so I don't know why you refuse to step on the scale. Do you not want longevity? Now I get that BMI is not the greatest metric to use. According to BMI, I'm overweight. I think I have a 26 BMI because I technically weigh a lot of pounds because I work out and I do have some mass on me. But let's not pretend that you have a large amount of muscle on you. I guess this is the way that people tackle their insecurities now by making light of it and putting it on social media and even rebelling against it like in her case. That's definitely a new age way to cope with your problems. But hey, everybody's got their deal, right?